What would you say is the country's biggest problem right now? Well, there are a number of them. I, I think the most obvious ones are the current uh, debt crisis is something that we have to pay attention to. And then also uh, the need for uh, more jobs to help stimulate the economy. Do you think one person can start saving America? Is that possible? I think it, that's absolutely where it starts. Uh, one person at a time, each individual uh, assessing their own situation and how they can uh, help their situation and also be uh, responsible for helping someone else. And so the special committee was formed to cut $1.5 trillion from the federal budget. Where do you think those cuts need to be? Well, it's hard for me to say. I think that we have to rely on our representatives to be responsible and, and fiscally prudent. But I think we have to all keep in mind that it's not going to be a quick fix. We didn't get into this situation overnight, and it's going to take a little while uh, to uh, uh, get things uh, uh, worked out. But uh, we just have to tackle the priorities one by one. Are you confident they can make the correct decisions? Well, I want to be confident. Uh, we want to have uh, faith in our uh, representatives and our leaders. Um, I, I think they'll try to do the best they can. Sometimes politics can get in the way, but uh, let's be hopeful that they'll uh, figure out the best solution and, and way to move forward. As a sports agent, you make a living negotiating contracts to determine just how much a player will make. How has this economy affected what you do? I think it's affected all of us. We've got to be more uh, efficient and productive at, at what we do. Uh, but my job um, is to maximize uh, the client's uh, compensation based on their performance. And uh, fortunately, uh, now that the labor situation has been worked out in the NFL, uh, it's, it's still strong and uh, very popular. You started Maximum Sports Management 26 years ago, and you base it on two simple principles, integrity in practice and excellence in performance. Do you feel like maybe that those two simple practices are missing in Washington? Well, sometimes, yes. I think it's based on the individual, but... Um, I think that's what we all strive for. Being from uh, Fort Wayne and from the Midwest, those values were instilled in me at an early age. And I'm hopeful that uh, uh, our representatives will continue with those kinds of concepts because I think that's what uh, are key things that our country is built upon. Is there one thing that can kind of turn things around? I think you can try various stimuluses to motivate uh, and inspire businesses to hire more people. And uh, that can help get the economy uh, uh, going. Uh, I think the, you want to incent a small business, uh, small businessmen to, to, to hire and uh, take more risk uh, with, with, with people and invest in people. And I think that can help get things uh, going. Is that something you think can happen right here in Fort Wayne? Oh, absolutely. Uh, Fort Wayne has always been a resilient place to live lived here all my life. And uh, w once we recognize a crisis and a problem, we've shown as a community we can come together and, uh, and solve it. Does the NFL flourish because there's lack of government interference? I think it flourishes because it has a, a great product. It's in touch with what uh, fans want. Uh, they have some government protection uh, given the uh, uh, antitrust exemptions that they have. Uh, but uh, you're right, the government doesn't really uh, involve itself in regulating uh, the sport on a, uh, on, a, on a constant basis. I think that helps. Are you at all surprised that even though the economy is the way it is, it seems like sports continues to be successful? People still go out to the games. They still buy the tickets. Are sports maybe the way people kind of check out of reality just for maybe four or five hours? Absolutely. It gives uh, people a break from the, the uh, uh, challenges and problems that they're facing and they can sort of live through the uh, game and the, and the athletes who they relate to. And uh, it, it also uh, gives them hope. 
because uh, you're taught in sports early on that uh, no matter what the situation is, there's always hope, there's always another game, there's always an opportunity to uh, succeed. So sports maybe could save the country? Well, it can help. Uh, but I think the, the more so the, the attitude that uh, you have to have to be successful in sports, which is overcoming obstacles, uh, failure isn't final. You can always, there's always another game, another season to pick yourself up and move forward. Uh, those types of attitudes, if, if utilized, can help the country.